Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of unboxing and a brief review video. And I'll be unboxing my first Chromebook which is the Asus uh, Flip C302CA Chromebook. Now, uh, first I'd like to say that this is uh, not a paid or affiliated uh, review. I paid or bought this uh, with my own money. So the, on, the opinions are going to be honest and unbiased and as you know uh, that I do not provide any affiliated uh, links on my video. So let's start with the unboxing first. Uh, so this is the whole package and uh, it has kind of a uh, handle so it looks like a briefcase which you can carry. And uh, we have here on the back of the box there's some uh, general information here so let's uh, remove the seal right here so this is just to prove that the purchase has not been opened before Okay, so once I remove the cover of the box, so this is what we have here, and obviously this is the Chromebook, so I'll just uh, take it out and put it here first, and let's see if there's anything else inside the box. Okay, so there's nothing here, and... Uh, We have some information uh, card here, and uh, this is the piece of uh, wipe to clean the screen. And this is like warranty card and user guide. So this is just like in a very brief user guide. So I'll just leave it here for now. And this is empty here. And let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have here charging uh, plug and cable, and uh, this is a uh, USB C. And actually, uh, in order to charge this Chromebook, you do not need to use this. You can just uh, any USB C uh, cable can charge this one, so that's a good thing. And even if you want to uh, carry this with you, uh, this is very lightweight and compact design, so I like it uh, being so small and uh, handy. So I'll just uh, set everything aside now. So here we have uh, the Chromebook and uh, let's open it up. I'll set this aside here and So if I open this, then there's another packaging, so I'll put it in here. Okay, so before anything else, let's uh, go through some of the specs. So this one actually is a 12.5 inch full HD touch screen. And the weight should be around at 2.65 pound, so it should be very light, lightweight and the whole uh, Thing is made of aluminium uh, body it's made of aluminium metallic body and uh, it has that you know uh, premium feeling to it it doesn't feel cheap when you're holding it Your life should be about uh, 10 hours or so and the processor is actually uh, Intel uh, core m3 64 gigabyte storage and 4 gig RAM so this should be a very fast uh, Chromebook with the uh, Intel Core M3 processor with 4 gig RAM. Uh, for Core Chromebooks, you actually do not need uh, a lot of uh, processing power because you know it's not it's a very lightweight uh, operating system. Okay. So here, the first thing, uh, the keyboard has a very premium feeling too, and uh, 
there's enough gap in between which makes it very you know smooth to put your finger or smooth to work on and uh, let's take a look on the side of the uh, Chromebook so here we have uh, one micro one USB-C cable and this is the volume rocker and this looks like the power button and this looks like the audio or output or mic input and then here's the speaker which is on the side and we have another USB-C port here and then we have uh, SD card micro this actually looks like micro SD card slot and then the other speaker so it's got two micro USB port however it doesn't have any USB uh, regular USB port okay so I'll power this up and I'll uh, charge the battery and then I'll uh, give you some uh, insights of uh, how fast it is or how you know uh, the Android Play works with it because this uh, laptop is supposed to have Google uh, Play access and I'll give you some more insights on this but let me just uh, you know charge this a little bit then I'll give you some more, more information on this hello everyone I'm recording this part of video after a few days uh, since I did the unboxing and uh, I have uh, used this Chromebook about for the last uh, five six days and uh, I would like to show you a few things uh, because now I have the experience of using Chromebook Chromebook uh, this is my first Chromebook so let, let me show you some stuff I'd like to uh, show you so the first thing uh, when you open the Chromebook this way it turns on automatically uh, you don't have to actually t press the power button so it turns on and then it's going to ask you to enter your uh, password so let's enter the password okay so what happens when you uh, input the password it gives you the Google uh, Chrome uh, browser and uh, I'm going to just exit this browser for now okay so this is going to be your uh, main screen or your desktop and what I can tell you is that uh, I tried putting stuff on the desktop and uh, you know it doesn't uh, allow me to put anything on the desktop so this is my feeling that uh, you're not able to put anything on the desktop to keep uh, keep things minimal however uh, you'll see those uh, icons on the bottom of the screen which uh, you know you can use to open up uh, whatever you need now this Chromebook actually comes with uh, Google Play I didn't have to change any settings or tweak anything to get the Google Play so the Google Play is uh, right here the icon and once you uh, click on it then it takes you to the Google Play and then from there you can just uh, you know install anything you want I'm going to just uh, change this uh, Chromebook to the tablet mode and then I'd like to then I'll show you something okay so right now I'm using the tablet mode and then so this is your Google Play and you can install apps and uh, I have installed a few apps uh, let me just op close this now and then you can access your apps just by clicking this round icon right here so which is uh, right this icon so if you touch here it's going to show you all the apps you have uh, installed and you can just kind of like you know scroll up and down uh, on the app so there's a small uh, dots here too if you have too many apps then it's going to like you know uh, give you more dots but or you can just scroll it uh, you know on these apps and then it's going to uh, show you all the apps so some of the apps actually when you do full screen they get kind of uh, they get kind of distorted and some of these apps when you do uh, full screen they you know just works fine they just work fine so I guess some of for some of the apps they're not like you know uh, the Google Play or the system is not able to 
show you the full app in uh, perfect mode, uh, in a bigger mode. However, uh, it would just give you like you know kind of uh, it to show you like you know like a phone way. For example, uh, okay, somehow let's try my Instagram. Okay, so it looks like it's not working on Instagram, but I'll see if I can open up another app and which is going to be let's try okay let's try the weather channel okay so if I when I open the weather channel it's taking me to the website so some of these apps they will just take you to the website they will not let me start as a stand alone uh, apps and uh, some of them they will work as a regular app so let me just see if I have something here okay how about this tune in radio okay okay so the this tune in radio is taking to the full screen so let me just close this one and uh, let me just see if there's anything else I can show you here uh, okay so how about webcams? Okay, so here's an, one app. All these apps right now are taking to the full screen mode, but in the past, I had some of them which were just, you know, giving me like, you know, half of the screen mode. So I'm just wondering, it could be due to the fact that I was like, you know, when you use it as a laptop, that maybe it just gives you half of the screen. Okay, so that's, that's, that's what it is here. So let's say if you're using it as a laptop, it's, it shows you like these. It doesn't like, you know, convert it to full screen. However, when you're using it as a tablet, then it converts to a full screen. Okay, and uh, that's one thing. And then the other thing I'd like to show you is that here is the like settings. So if you go to uh, here's the power button right here. Here is the uh, setting, and then here's the all other settings. So if you just hit settings, then you're going to get all the like you know Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, syncing with your other devices, uh, browser theme, wallpaper and then if you just go to advanced then it will give you even more settings for example 24 hour clock set and time and use a web service to resolve navigation errors and keep wi-fi on so here you have access to even more settings and let's take a look here what we have okay so these are all the settings in the future I wish to do more uh, videos on uh, Chromebook so these are the basic thing and then here you can launch your let's say Chrome browser just by clicking there and you can just launch Google Play from there and then another interesting thing I would like to show you let's say you have you're using it as a tablet mode and then let's say you have a browser open and you have Google Play open and you have let's say uh, another app you can open uh, let's see we have here webcam okay so we open this uh, all these apps and then what you can do you can actually see them on one screen and you can uh, you know close them if you need to so for that you have to just click here and they're going to all show up this way uh, if we just change it to this mode then you can see that you know right now you have three apps open so if you'd like to just close all of them you do it here 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 so that's how you do it and let's see what we have here the battery power is really good it shows here uh, almost nine hours left 100 percent almost eight eight hours uh, 48 minutes and now the last thing i'd like to show when you turn this off it's really fast like windows you know 
it doesn't take long uh, so turning on and off really fast so just you know hit the power button and it's off so it's really fast Okay, so that's uh, what I wanted to show you for now, and uh, I'm trying to uh, use basic video editing software on this, and I used to do a separate video on the uh, on, on it in the future. And the reason I'd like to do that uh, because when I travel, I'd like to take this laptop with me because this is uh, not a very expensive laptop, although this is high-end version. Uh, one of the high-end high, high -end version uh, laptops uh, are Chromebooks uh, so this is about like uh, $600 Canadian but you can get a similar Chromebook for about $300 but it's going to be just lower like you know uh, specs for example this one has 64 uh, gig hard drive and uh, for uh, the cheap one would be like a lower uh, lesser hard drive and uh, the screen resolution is not going to be uh, that uh, good like this one so the reason uh, I'd like to take this when I travel is that I would be more comfortable taking a $600 laptop with me rather than my $2,000 Windows laptop uh, because in that way it would give me a peace of mind and it's a risk management so let's see if, if something happens you know if it gets stolen or I lose the laptop it's better to lose $600 than $2,000 laptop so that's one of the reasons uh, you know made me uh, purchase this uh, Chromebook and also I wanted to know what is Chromebook how it works because you know I never used a Chromebook before so as I learn more stuff about Chromebook I wish to do some more videos on this and uh, put them uh, for uh, references so you can you know just check things out uh, if I find out something new so that's all for today if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing on this channel I do a variety of videos for example travel videos unboxing videos and financial videos so please sub subscribe and uh, I'll see you shortly thank you